In an unforeseen curve, NASA has turned its concentration to Venus, provoked by the new revelation of potential life signs. A gander at NASA's 1960s files uncovers that Venus was once considered a horrendous planet, while Mars was viewed as humankind's future. This characterization wasn't irregular during the Great Space Race. The Soviet Union committed its endeavors to Venus, regardless of its apparently unwelcoming climate. Strikingly, this Soviet devotion went on until the fall of the USSR. Thanks to astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson, we currently see more about these undertakings. Join us as we dive into the Soviet missions to Venus, revealing declassified photographs and forgotten history. The breakdown of the Soviet Union reshaped global international relations and covered numerous mysteries, including those of its space program. The USSR was famous for its secrecy, from cutting-edge surveillance to potential alien encounters. Shockingly, before the USA dominated planetary exploration, the Soviet Union led the charge, especially focused on Venus. From 1961 to 1983, known as Venera in Russian, these missions diverged from America's moon landings. While the USA zeroed in on lunar exploration, the Soviets saw Venus as an essential objective. Despite the unforgiving conditions on Venus, the USSR launched 28 spacecraft toward the planet, with 13 entering its atmosphere and 8 landing successfully. These missions marked significant accomplishments, despite the fact that they remain less popular due to Soviet secrecy. In 1992, following the Soviet Union's dissolution, the space organization was rebranded as Roscosmos, and much historical data was lost. However, the Soviet exploration of Venus provided invaluable insights into the planet's extreme climate. Today, many scientists question whether Venus can support life due to its high temperatures and dense atmosphere. Yet, the Soviet missions laid the foundation for understanding these conditions. The USSR's Venus missions were likely driven by cost-effectiveness. Venus, at an average distance of 40 million kilometers from Earth, is much closer than Mars, which is around 250 million kilometers away. This proximity made Venus a more viable target for the Soviets, who had limited resources compared to the wealthier USA. Furthermore, Soviet rockets faced technical challenges, making shorter, more practical missions feasible. The space race context is essential to understanding the Venera missions. In 1957, the USSR launched Sputnik 1, the first artificial satellite, igniting a fierce rivalry with the USA. While NASA struggled with early Venus missions, the USSR capitalized on these failures. The Soviets aimed to achieve what NASA could not, establishing their dominance despite limited resources and internal challenges. American media often depicted Venus negatively, while Mars was seen as humanity's destiny. However, the Soviets remained steadfast. Their Venera missions, aligned with the Cold War, demonstrated their ability to innovate effectively despite early setbacks. The USSR achieved significant milestones, such as the first probe to enter another planet's atmosphere and return images and sounds from Venus. By 1966, Venera 3 became the first probe to land on Venus, intensifying the space race. The 1970s saw further advancements, with the USSR launching increasingly sophisticated spacecraft. Venera 9, launched in 1975, returned the first high-resolution images of Venus's surface. This achievement was followed by Venera 10, which provided the first color pictures. The culmination of these efforts came with Venera 13 in 1981, which returned advanced color pictures and recorded sounds from Venus. These missions collectively contributed to our understanding of Venus, despite the Soviet Union's eventual collapse. Much of what we know about Venus comes from these pioneering missions. The space race saw the USA and USSR following different paths, driven by distinct strategic and philosophical motivations. For the Soviets, Venus was a challenging yet feasible target, while the USA focused on lunar landings to demonstrate technological prowess. Despite technical difficulties, the Venera missions provided crucial insights into Venus, shaping future planetary exploration. The legacy of the Venera missions endures, highlighting the Soviet Union's scientific ambitions and contributions to global knowledge. These missions expanded our understanding of Venus and paved the way for future investigations. As new missions to Venus are planned, 
the lessons from the Venera program continue to inform and inspire. Looking back, both superpowers achieved remarkable milestones, each leaving an enduring impact on space exploration. The rivalry between them spurred rapid advancements in technology and engineering, preparing future generations of space explorers. As we plan new missions to Venus, the challenging endeavors of the Soviet Venera program remind us of humanity's relentless quest for knowledge and our unwavering spirit of exploration in the universe. The legacy of the Venera missions is a testament to the Soviet Union's scientific prowess and determination during the space race. These missions not only provided a wealth of data about Venus, but also demonstrated the USSR's capability to overcome significant technological hurdles. The Venera program set a high standard for planetary exploration, with each mission building upon the successes and lessons learned from its predecessors. In addition to the scientific achievements, the Venera missions also had geopolitical implications. The success of these missions bolstered the USSR's position as a major player in space exploration, highlighting the technological and scientific capabilities of the Soviet Union during a time of intense rivalry with the United States. The Venera program showcased the USSR's commitment to space exploration, even when faced with economic and political challenges. As we move forward, the data collected from the Venera missions continues to be invaluable. For instance, the insights gained from the Venera 9 and 13 missions have contributed to our understanding of Venus's atmospheric composition, surface conditions, and geological features. This foundational knowledge has influenced subsequent missions and studies, providing a baseline for comparisons with other planetary bodies. The renewed interest in Venus in recent years, with missions from NASA, ESA, and other space agencies, reflects the enduring significance of the Venera program's contributions. These new missions aim to build upon the groundwork laid by the Venera spacecraft, seeking to unravel the mysteries of Venus's past, present, and potential for habitability. Furthermore, the Venera mission's success has inspired a new generation of scientists and engineers. The innovative technologies and methods developed for the Venera program continue to influence space exploration techniques, from atmospheric entry systems to remote sensing instruments. The spirit of exploration and scientific curiosity that drove the Venera missions remains a driving force in contemporary space exploration efforts. Looking back at the Venera program, we recognize not only the technical and scientific milestones achieved, but also the broader impact on global space exploration. The competition between the USA and the USSR spurred unprecedented advancements in technology and knowledge. As we advance into the future of space exploration, the legacy of the Venera missions serves as a reminder of humanity's capacity for innovation and discovery. In conclusion, the Venera missions were a remarkable achievement in the history of space exploration. They provided crucial insights into one of our solar system's most enigmatic planets and demonstrated the Soviet Union's remarkable capabilities in space science. As we continue to explore Venus and other celestial bodies, the lessons learned from the Venera program will remain an integral part of our journey into the cosmos, inspiring future generations to push the boundaries of exploration and understanding. To continue the exploration of Venus and expand on the historical and scientific context of the Venera missions, we delve deeper into the legacy of Soviet space exploration and its impact on modern space science. The Venera program was more than just a series of missions. It represented a bold vision and ambition that reflected the Soviet Union's broader strategic goals during the Cold War. The USSR's focus on Venus was a calculated decision driven by both scientific curiosity and geopolitical strategy. While Venus, with its harsh conditions, might seem an unusual target, it was a symbol of Soviet perseverance and innovation in space technology. One of the key aspects of the Venera missions was their focus on atmospheric studies. Venus has an incredibly thick atmosphere composed mainly of carbon dioxide with clouds of sulfuric acid. This atmosphere creates a runaway greenhouse effect, leading to surface temperatures that can exceed 460 degrees Celsius 860 degrees Fahrenheit. By studying Venus's atmosphere, Soviet scientists aim to gain insights into planetary atmospheres in general, including those of Earth and other planets. These insights have been crucial for understanding the impacts of greenhouse gases and climate change on our own planet. The technological achievements of the Venera program were remarkable. 
For instance, the design of the Venera spacecraft had to account for extreme temperatures and pressures. To withstand these conditions, the spacecraft were equipped with specially designed heat shields and protective casings. The success of these technological innovations not only advanced Soviet space capabilities, but also provided valuable lessons for future missions to other hostile environments. In addition to its scientific goals, the Venera program served as a demonstration of Soviet technological prowess during the height of the Cold War. Showcasing advanced technology was a key aspect of demonstrating national strength. The successful deployment and operation of Venera spacecraft were intended to underscore the Soviet Union's capability to achieve major scientific and technological milestones, even in the face of significant challenges. Another noteworthy aspect of the Venera missions was their impact on international space diplomacy. The early successes of the Venera program were closely monitored by space agencies around the world. The USSR's achievements prompted other nations, including the United States and members of the European Space Agency, to intensify their own space exploration efforts. This competitive environment spurred rapid advancements in technology and scientific knowledge on a global scale. Despite the intense rivalry, the Venera missions also fostered a sense of shared scientific endeavor. The exchange of data and insights among international scientists, even during periods of heightened political tension, demonstrated the universal appeal of space exploration. For instance, data from the Venera missions have been used by scientists worldwide to refine models of atmospheric physics and planetary geology. This collaborative aspect of space science highlights how exploration efforts, regardless of national origin, contribute to a collective understanding of the cosmos. As we look back on the Venera missions, it is also important to recognize the contributions of individual scientists and engineers who made these achievements possible. Figures such as Sergei Korolev, often referred to as the chief designer of the Soviet space program, played a pivotal role in shaping the direction of space exploration. Korolev's leadership and vision were instrumental in the success of the Venera program, as well as other landmark Soviet space missions. The Venera missions also paved the way for future exploration of Venus and other planets. The knowledge gained from these missions has been instrumental in designing subsequent space probes and missions. For example, the data from Venera 9 and 13 helped guide the development of NASA's Magellan spacecraft, which mapped the surface of Venus using radar. The legacy of the Venera program can be seen in the ongoing interest in Venus, with new missions planned by NASA, the European Space Agency, and other space agencies. Looking ahead, the renewed interest in Venus is driven by the desire to understand the planet's history and its potential for habitability. Recent studies suggest that Venus may have once had liquid water on its surface, raising intriguing questions about its past climate and potential for life. The Venera missions provided crucial baseline data, which modern missions are now building upon to explore these possibilities further. The technological innovations developed for the Venera program also continue to influence space exploration techniques. For instance, the development of robust heat shields and high-temperature materials for the Venera missions has had applications beyond planetary exploration. These technologies have been adapted for use in other high-temperature environments, such as spacecraft reentry systems and industrial processes. In summary, the Venera missions were a groundbreaking series of space missions that advanced our understanding of Venus and demonstrated the Soviet Union's technological capabilities. They represented a significant achievement in the history of space exploration, providing valuable insights into planetary atmospheres and paving the way for future missions. The legacy of the Venera program endures in the form of continued scientific research, technological innovations, and international collaboration. As we continue to explore the cosmos, the lessons learned from the Venera missions will remain an integral part of our journey, inspiring future generations to push the boundaries of exploration and understanding. The impact of the Venera missions extends beyond scientific and technological achievements. They also played a role in shaping our cultural and intellectual perceptions of space exploration. The images and data returned by the Venera spacecraft offered a glimpse into the alien world of Venus capturing the imagination of people around the globe. This sense of wonder and curiosity about the unknown is a fundamental aspect of human exploration and discovery. Moreover, the Venera missions highlighted the importance of perseverance and resilience in the face of challenges. The harsh conditions of Venus presented significant obstacles, 
but the Soviet space program's determination to succeed drove the development of innovative solutions. This spirit of perseverance is a valuable lesson for all fields of scientific and technological endeavor, reminding us that progress often requires overcoming significant obstacles. The story of the Venera missions also reflects the broader context of space exploration as a collaborative and competitive enterprise. While the Cold War rivalry between the USA and USSR spurred technological advancements, it also fostered a spirit of global cooperation in the scientific community. The exchange of knowledge and collaboration across borders have been essential for advancing our understanding of the universe. In conclusion, the Venera missions were a remarkable chapter in the history of space exploration. They provided crucial insights into Venus, demonstrated the Soviet Union's technological prowess, and inspired future generations of scientists and engineers. As we look to the future, the legacy of the Venera program serves as a reminder of humanity's capacity for innovation, curiosity, and exploration. The lessons learned from these pioneering missions will continue to shape our understanding of the cosmos and drive future exploration efforts.